Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Dmitry Ignatov, and I'm going uh, to present two short demos for Shapley values used first to explain predictions of GSM classifier and uh, second uh, to attribute stability indices in unsupervised setting. <clears throat> we have a sort of a backend which is stored in my by cluster uh, package. Also, I need uh, some inventory from matplotlib. We have our data, positive context and negative context, already made uh, available via two different files. So we can create two context objects see how many objects each of them has, how many attributes, the attribute names, they are the same as in the paper or in the slides. For this talk, uh, you can see, for example, uh, gender attribute, male, female, uh, you can see uh, age in terms of binary attributes, young, middle, old, higher education, uh, special education, secondary education, <clears throat> higher salary, high salary, average and low, as far as I remember. You can also see the corresponding list of uh, binary, um, binary rows, I would say, that is objects. In FCA terms, here the cross is uh, represented by one, while uh, missing pairs in the relation are represented by zero. The same you can see for the negative context, the number of attributes, the attributes, the attribute names, they are the same. Uh, as for concept generation step, uh, you can use next closure function and to fit it with um, positive context for example since it's a demo i did not switch off all the outputs of our algorithms uh, that we used for debugging purposes first since they inform the user what is happening um, you can see the latest as a set of concepts, that is a concept lattice. Uh, you can also build a cover graph out of it, uh, and the output is the lattice again, and the set of edges between concepts. So you can see the list of pairs, each pair is an edge. Um, what else? Uh, this is non-symmetric since this is a cover relation. Okay, hypothesis generation. Let's generate uh, minimal hypothesis. Um, so it's possible you can see four hypotheses. Um, again, um, if we would like to check something uh, what are the edges between hypotheses? Uh, we can do that. Uh, and maybe, uh, maybe we would like uh, to build a different uh, representation of edges, not as a list of pairs, but as a list of neighborhoods. It's also possible. Okay, and different ways to access the objects. Uh, for each hypothesis, uh, we can also show the name of an attribute um, easily. 
by means of function int to names. So attribute names are here. Again, we can see the latest and uh, we can uh, further reduce the list of hypotheses if they are not minimal. Uh, and as a result, we will see that there are only two of them which are minimal with respect to their size and uh, the coverage of objects. So remember that we use uh, to be more general hypothesis relation if uh, the hypothesis has uh, less attributes than the other one, which is a superset of the current one, and then uh, the first one is more general than the second one. Uh, we can also compute uh, the negative hypothesis as well as the a cover graph for them, we can uh, further uh, reduce the obtained set up to three minimal hypotheses only. So we have in total five hypotheses. One of them, for example, is for the negative ones M and L. Um, it means male uh, with low salary. So do not give credit. And uh, quite expected hypothesis here, for example, the smaller one, the positive hypothesis is high salary. The next step is inference. Uh, imagine that we have four cases which are undetermined and we would like to classify all those cases accordingly to the obtained hypothesis. For example, the first case is female, young, with special education and high salary. Um, we can reduce the uh, zero one uh, representation to only indices which are used and see the names of those attributes. And we can apply GSM classifier. It takes uh, this concrete object uh, represented by the list of um, by the list of attribute indices, and we need to fit it also with positive hypothesis and negative hypothesis. Remember that we need only minimal ones here. As for the number of uh, a negative hypothesis, you can see that we have three of them. Okay, the output of the classifier is one. None of those hypotheses were found in the intent of the studied object G9. Let's um, continue our journey with three remaining objects uh, for the object for the next object uh, object g10 gsm classifier is not sure what is the class we cannot say whether it's uh, contradictory or classification or undetermined since we cannot see we cannot see other output than zero for those two cases. We did it deliberately uh, to let uh, Shapley values further to make their computations. Okay, if uh, we list um, the attribute names, we can see that this is a female case, um, oh, means old, higher education and 
average salary or whatever it means. Um, okay, um, the next case is G11. It's classified negatively. Men of middle ages with completed secondary education and low salary. And the last one is G12. It's classified uh, probably um, an, as an undetermined example. We can see that this is manual, secondary education, and high salary. Um, remember the set of uh, our hypothesis for that person we can check. Aha, uh -huh, high salary. It is included in the intent of this last object. So what else? Secondary education, it is included. Oh, there is a contradiction between them. So it's not an undetermined case. It's contradictory classified. That's why the output of GSM classifier was zero. As for um, case G10, for which we have uh, undetermined classification, it seems that there are no uh, hypotheses which are inside the intent. So it's an undetermined case. Um, let's have a look um, to the next part. Um, we also imported uh, several special tools to generate all, com all attribute combinations, such as a power set function here, via iterable interface uh, from iter tools, a package in Python to do those things. Um, for example, you can build a power set of the set of three elements presented as a list of tuples and an empty tuple corresponds to the empty set. Um, Shapley value computation procedure or function to be fair, uh, it's uh, quite straightforward. Um, it takes um, G prime, that is intent of uh, an object. Um, it takes an index of uh, an attribute, which should be evaluated and it takes uh, two contexts, I believe. Uh, we did this very, how to say, in a very expensive manner at the moment. So all the computations are inside this, um, inside this body of the function. Um, but anyway, uh, this is for demo purposes only. So let's have a look uh, the main cycle when we need to test the coalition with i and without i and to, to compute its contribution. From SciPy we use binomial coefficients and we simply return, uh, return the value um, as a normalized value. Uh, remember that thread is simply one over the size of G prime, that is uh, the size of our object intent. Okay, you can see, for example, the Shapley value for uh, the second attribute of the object G9. Remember that in Python we need to count our elements of lists or tuples starting with zero. Um, if we would like to compute the whole vector, we need to went through the, the whole vector. And we can see for the whole list of attributes and we can see the whole Shapley vector here. So it is computed. And uh, what else? What else? Um, you can see the Shapley 
um, value, uh, Shapley values, Shapley vectors for different cases for object G11. Um, as far as I remember, it's negatively classified. What else? We can see the Shapley vector for object G12. It's classified contradictory. Minus one and one are here. Um, G12, um, G11, G10. Uh, for G10, it's zero because it's an undetermined case. No, um, how to say, within attributes at all. Uh, now, let us discuss um, let us discuss experiments with zoo data set. As you probably remember from the paper or from uh, the talk, uh, experiments with zoo data sets are done um, by means of the same inventory and the data set itself uh, was taken from UCI machine learning repository. Um, and we um, downloaded the corresponding positive and negative context from two different files, especially prepared. Uh, again, you can see the number of objects in our positive context, which is a context of mammalians only. Uh, all the remaining, all the rest animals are considered as not mammalian, that is a negative class. We have 21 attribute here, like uh, hair, feather, X, milk, and so on. Only one numeric attribute that was scaled nominally, the number of uh, legs. Um, we have the names of positive objects here. I just copied them uh, for um, easy interpretation of the results. So you can see the corresponding context as a binary, as a list of binary lists. Uh, you can see the names of negative objects and so on and so forth. The attributes, the number of attributes, they are the same. So we checked everything. We generated um, uh, the, the concept latest for the positive context. It's definitely more than uh, 80 concepts in it. So we need to build a lattice and to select uh, hypothesis out of the intents of the concepts inside this lattice. We built also a cover graph, um, more than 200 edges it contains. You can see the pairs as well. Uh, you can see how we reduce the number of minimal hypotheses and it seems there is only one milk backbone and breaths. As for um, the negative hypotheses, we need to generate them. Uh, we have uh, about 100, um, 170 hypotheses maybe just because our internal step of reporting is just uh, one line per 10 concepts. We cannot judge it. Uh, we cannot judge it uh, finer, but you can count it uh, directly if you like. Um, we need to build a cover graph. It's much larger than the previous one. And you can also type all the negative hypotheses there then you can reduce them and print their names. Not that many in the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Uh, so you can um, you can input uh, every object um, as uh, the input of your JSON classifier and print the labels. You can see that the classification is not contradictory on our training set. Um, as for negative context, sometimes 
as uh, the objects are undetermined or um, they classified contradictory it needs extra checking uh, what else what else um, as for Shapley values um, we can also compute those values and uh, for mammalians and for not mammalians we can see those vectors uh, for all of them uh, for example for the positive example artwork the Shapley vector looks like uh, this the names of attributes are not shown but we can identify them as for negative uh, examples we can also see Shapley vectors and uh, for those cases that were classified contradictory or un remain undetermined we can uh, deduce it uh, by looking at the Shapley vectors if all the components are zeros then this is the uh, undetermined case if all the, com if the components are somehow mixed so that is positive and negative above here then it's contradictory but i believe that uh, only undetermined hypothesis only undetermined examples uh, remain here the Shapley vector of bus bus as far as i remember is a fish it looks like that only four attributes are important two of them are much more important than the others and you can also build a diagram lovely diagram okay okay what else uh, you can also find those examples that are classified and determined there are no hypotheses to classify them um, so Shapley vector for crab is just uh, shown this flat line as the same for um, some other object I didn't show its name here okay um, okay what else what else we can see the names of uh, our uh, we can see the names of attributes of our uh, undetermined for the attributes of our undetermined examples x aquatic predator of x4 uh, this is crab okay so seven object uh, eggs backbone breaths four legs tail and cut size and the name family total um for the object 11 this is duck you can see this shapley vector it has m much more valuable components three of them are the most important um for and uh, we also printed uh, the attributes of hard work but it doesn't make much sense for our study well, let us switch uh, to shapley values for stability this is uh to do so um we need somehow different procedures like you know, um, generators procedure that should return all minimal generators and maybe uh, um, special procedures to speed up our computations as well um, for pairwise uh, generation of new candidates uh, that glue uh, different uh, small size at least so you can obtain uh, candidates of size three out of sets of size two 
Okay, different contexts can be used, for example, for testing purposes. For example, this one, the first object is just the row of ones, the next uh, row, the next object has only two first attributes. The last object uh, has uh, no uh, the attribute in the middle and we can compute formal concepts uh, to it and minimal generators. Those are preliminary computations for testing purposes on different contexts of different shapes. And as you remember, those uh, contexts are used to demonstrate how Shapley values uh, for stability in this is uh, look like. And you can find all of those examples here along with minimal generation generators lists and so on and so forth. Okay, we can skip this testing part with gener generation of concepts and generators. And uh, let me shortly comment the computation of Shapley values. Uh, again, it's a direct algorithm that use uh, direct enumeration of subsets, which is an efficient uh, for large set of attributes. But we can use it for our demo purposes. Uh, for example, here we also did not uh, turn off um, intermediate messages. Uh, for example, we yes, this is just to check the values of set S, which is currently tested this one for the coalition of set S and the attributes I and the output sum. Um, okay, you can see how those values are computed for uh, different attributes uh, within a certain, a certain intent of a formal concept for a certain context. But you can also build the whole vector of such a concept. Um, well, let's go further and uh, experiment with fruits context. It has fruits and uh, non-fruits example, examples. Mm -hmm. And we now generate all of those um, hypotheses and can see the whole vectors. There is a special function that compute the whole vector for the corresponding concept. <clears throat> Those are intermediate steps, but the output is the whole vector. Okay. I went through all the patients and reach the end, you will definitely see the corresponding uh, Shapley vectors. Uh, computing contributions to stability. Uh, to do so, uh, we applied different strategies to calculate stability. In this is, for example, you can use the cover graph and uh, uh, calculate stability in this is by a minimal generators as the formulas in the paper shows. And uh, you can see the dictionary with the num with the in this is of attributes as keys and the output values of uh, Shapley values or bonds of indices there. Okay. Um, so stability and contribution in terms of counters are shown, but then they are renormalized and show finally as Shapley or months of vectors. So those are different examples of the used uh, context and you can see um, different vectors that are reported in the uh, 
uh, paper text text <clears throat> maybe it's interesting to have a look at zoo data set again uh, we have a zoo data set with 100 um, or maybe 101 objects and 21 attributes we can build the whole set of concepts um, we can build a cover graph we can uh, compute stability and uh, the corresponding bunch of Shapley vectors and we can print them all so first the concept second the uh, stability value uh, and next uh, the vector of contributions the weak bands of vector i believe okay shapley values computation is direct here it's direct enumeration again not that very efficient algorithm but we can use it for our purposes we can list all the concepts along with their Shapley vectors by means of uh, this procedure so it is done for every object in our lattice starting with one as far as I understand and remember and uh, you you can see for example the first element the first object and the, the first concept uh, and you can see the corresponding diagram with feature importances so the concept um, and the vector stability in this is for all the for all the objects i believe in the context uh, what else what else so for each intent we can build the diagrams we can also show the attribute indices here for different concepts uh, there are different importance indices and we can compare Shapley indices with the bands of vector for example sometimes uh, bands of vector outputs equal contributions but it's not the case for Shapley uh, vectors in comparison okay I think uh, we can stop here so this is simply simply a demo we have weak bands of vectors for different concepts that were reported in the paper and properly explained uh, we have also um, Shapley vectors shown as lowly diagrams here um, and so you can see the contribution of every attribute uh, for I believe um, um, the concept with uh, the largest largest intent and we can interpret and speculate on the importance of the values <clears throat>